prospect of self-sterilising glassware seems almost the stuff of science fiction, but it's a reality at Salford's Biomedical Sciences Research Institute. Iram Ditter explains. My project involves looking at photocatalytic surfaces uh, where we can eliminate uh, surface microbial contaminants with the use of long UVA wavelength rays. Previously, uh, other researchers have looked at these uh, photocatalytic surfaces with thin layers of titanium dioxide. Um, however, uh, we are now looking at uh, ways of uh, improving biocidal activity in order to uh, cut time to kill these microorganisms. Uh, hence, we are looking at dual film layers, which is a novel technology as it um, requires coating titanium dioxide. Uh, with either silver or copper oxide and this is being done either by overlaying silver or copper oxides on top of titanium dioxide or underneath it and then various experiments have been conducted and results have been compared to see which uh, type of film gives the best antibacterial and antiviral activity. These self-disinfecting and self-cleaning surfaces can be used to control health-acquired infections such as MRSA. Uh, these surfaces can be uh, coated on surfaces around the hospital, surfaces in food industry prep areas, door handles, uh, aircraft, air filters, um, just in order to control various infections. This is actually a mesh air filter which was coated for an aircraft uh, for it to be used in its air conditioning system. This handle was coated um, and it's going to be used in an aircraft cabin and it has been coated with this photocatalytic surface in order to control bacteria. This is a door latch and this has been coated with titanium dioxide so it has antibacterial and antiviral activity. I have now been working on this project for approximately 28 months. Uh, there is interest within the university because uh, we're actually collaborating with CVD Technologies which is actually a spin-off company um, at the University of Salford. CVD Technologies is the company that actually provides us with these photocatalytic surfaces. They are the ones that coat uh, glass with the photocatalytic surfaces and then they give us these surfaces to carry out biocidal activity testing. There were technical complications at the start because we didn't really have a, a biocidal activity testing method so a lot of work had to be uh, put into that to get that right. Uh, now um, I am actually looking at uh, developing a test method in order to uh, achieve real-time results at present, uh, results take 24 hours. If we are able to develop a rapid test method, then uh, I'm sure that industry will, industries and hospitals will actually look into because time is everything. Mm -hmm.